You know, I thought you had some brains, but you proved me wrong. You always manage to shock me. Ugh, just please save your usual lectures. I don't want to listen to them. You are just unbelievable. You failed to get into the medical department again. What a disgrace. You should be sorry for yourself. What am I supposed to tell the neighbors? You know, I've been bragging about you applying and everything. Well, you don't have to tell them anything. It's not like they're that curious about my life. My failing to get in is all my fault. And it has absolutely nothing to do with you, mom. Just leave me alone and let me deal with it. I'm trying to think about my alternatives. Maybe I should start thinking about a different career for myself. I don't want to hear any of your reasons, young lady. You have no clue how much you've disappointed me. How much you've disappointed yourself. What do you mean, reasons? That wasn't my goal at all. I'm being honest here. You failed twice. Twice! You are such a letdown. I have no faith in you. You don't have to keep repeating things like that. It's not like I didn't give it my all. I'm really sad about this myself. You're my mom. Aren't you supposed to support me in times like this? Why are you being so harsh? What? Are you just content moping around because of your own inability? Get over it. You're a failure and bring nothing but dishonor to this family. I wish I could find one thing to be proud of you for, but there's not a single thing. Why are you even the one that had to be born? I never wanted you as my daughter. That's just cruel now. You don't say that to your own daughter. I can't believe you. I'm thinking seriously about my life and what I want to do from now on. It's not like I'm wasting time doing whatever I want. It was just bad luck that I didn't get into medical school. I really think I did the best I could. You know, I can't believe you and Paul are related. So different in every way. He makes me proud with all his accomplishments. But you? You have nothing to your name except failure after failure. Ugh, disappointed doesn't even cover how I feel. You're so irritating. Is that all you have to say? I've already heard it a billion times by now. Why can't you just observe and learn from your brother? Is it that hard? You should have been able to follow in his footsteps. I expected so much from you. Where did you go wrong? I don't understand how you could have turned out this way. Don't you think considering the way you've been talking to me, it's kind of your fault? You probably didn't raise me well. You're trying to say it's my fault now? Don't kick me down just because of your own shortcomings. You just doted on my brother, always praising and prioritizing him. You never loved me the way you love my brother. It's not like I wanted to even go to medical school in the first place. Maybe that's why I failed to get in. That's ridiculous. Why am I just hearing this now? You're the one who never stopped to listen to me. If you were more interested in my feelings, you would have already known by now. Whatever. I'm not really interested in hearing what you have to say anymore. I've had enough of you. Someone incompetent as you can just move out of the house. What are you saying? Our family runs a hospital. If you can't become a doctor, what does that say about us? What are we supposed to do about you? You're useless now. You don't deserve to be a part of this family. Just get out. Leave. I better not see you around anymore. What the heck? You're not serious. That's just completely absurd. I plan to let Paul take over the hospital after your father retires. We don't need some loser daughter who can't do anything in our family. You're tainting our name. If you would happen to get into medical school, you could have been a fallback option if something happened with Paul. But there goes that plan. Now, your spot in this family is gone. You won't get in no matter how many times you try. I know how stupid you are. Really? Just useless. You are aware that I'm your actual daughter, right? That you gave birth to? I have no words. I'm just utterly shocked that you were capable of speaking this way to me. You bring shame to our family, so I will make sure that you leave the house. I've decided to officially kick you out, so you don't need to come home from today. I guess you are actually being serious. I don't know what to say. I admit, there were times I thought that you might actually be capable of achieving things. I guess it was just my imagination or something. You'll never achieve anything great in your life. You've always been stupid and you'll always be stupid. Even when I got the best grades in class, you told me that the only reason I did well was because everyone else made it easy for me, that the class level was already low. When I thought you would finally tell me I did good, you just told me that I shouldn't forget how incompetent I am. You kept kicking me down over and over again. 
That's what I had to deal with growing up. You made me feel insecure and doubtful of myself. I'm like this because of you. So what? You are incompetent. And Paul already is going to one of the best medical schools in the country. I can finally have a peace of mind about the future. Therefore, I have no need for you. You keep talking about how great Paul is, but he hasn't even been able to move up a grade for such a long time now. He's five years older than me, and he's still a student. I don't know why you keep going on about how much better he is than me. What are you trying to say now? You couldn't even get into medical school. You both are on completely different levels. Paul is already a medical school student, so he will eventually become a doctor, even if it takes some time. You, on the other hand, have no future. He's just taking his time. Nothing wrong with that. I'm sure you're the only one thinking that. Well, I don't really need you anymore, so... Compared to your brilliant brother, you were some good-for-nothing daughter who failed to even get into medical school. Which means that you don't deserve to be my daughter any longer. Hurry up and get out. I don't ever want to see your face ever again. Whatever. If that's what you want, then that's what you'll get. I don't want to hear your insults anymore anyways. It looks like it doesn't really matter what I have to say. So there's no point in arguing with you. I'll just grant you your wish then, and get out of your life. Never set foot in our house again, you stranger. <laughs> you aren't family anymore, so don't go trespassing. You are really just a loser. I don't even want to believe that you're actually my daughter. I'm really sick and tired of you being so verbally abusive. Don't worry, I won't be coming back. Your brother is so amazing, and yet look at you. You're such a joke. An incompetent failure like you who isn't capable of becoming a doctor doesn't belong with us. Leave. Immediately. Yeah, yeah, I got the point already. No need to keep repeating yourself. Goodbye. You better not come back. I don't want you to start begging me to take you back when the reality of the situation hits you. <laughs> Even if you are on your knees at the doorstep, I won't let you inside the house. Do whatever you want. I don't care. And same right back at you. Don't start acting like we're family once you start regretting your decision. Rebecca, are you there? I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Uh, who is this? I don't recognize the number. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried that maybe you would change your number or something. Well, since you didn't, you should remember who this is. It's me, your mother. I don't have a mother. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't have to be so hostile to me. I'm hurt. You are my daughter, after all. I just wanted to check in and see how you were doing. Cut the crap. <laughs> what are you plotting this time? I don't really have time to waste talking to you. And we really have nothing to discuss with each other at this point, am I right? We agreed that we were going to cut ties with each other. I was just curious how you were doing. As your mom, I get anxious about you. I just wanted to know if you were fine. You never come home, so how are you? What's been happening in your life? I do remember you throwing me out of the house five years ago. <laughs> Is old age affecting your memory or something? I have no clue why you would just call me out of the blue like this. But it's already been five years. You haven't talked to me in five years. And all of a sudden, you want to know how I'm doing. Let's just forget about the past. That was all a long time ago. We were both young anyways. You know how it is. Let's start fresh and try to rebuild our relationship. Give me a break. <laughs> you? Young? <laughs> okay then. I guess your rude attitude hasn't changed much though. I'm sure you just saw my interview on TV or something, right? What interview? Oh, stop the obvious act already. Look, you wouldn't have taken the time to contact me like this for any other reason. That's just the way you are. <laughs> That's no way to speak to your mother. You need to show me some respect. Hmm, let's recall together, shall we? Incompetent, loser, useless. Oh, and what was it? Oh yeah, you don't belong in this family. Are those things a mother tells a daughter? You've never shown me any respect. And just because I'm actually succeeding with my new business, you come along wagging your tail like a little dog. Fine, I did see you on TV. But I kept wondering why you didn't even think about telling us about it. You could have left a message or something. That's why I thought I'd do you a favor and save you the trouble by contacting you first. Oh please, we're not family anymore. There's no need for us to be giving each other little updates about our lives. Sure, I didn't succeed as a doctor, but I hit the jackpot with my business. 
Who knew I would become this successful, huh? I'm quite satisfied with my life. Things are going well and I have everything I need. If you're so successful now, it wouldn't have been so hard for you to become a doctor if you had kept trying. I never wanted to become a doctor in the first place. <laughs> you were the one who just forced me into it. You never listened to me about what I actually wanted. Without a single word from me, the family just decided that becoming a doctor was the only option for me. That's why I didn't tell anyone I was actually studying to achieve a certain dream I had. I wasn't actually focused on getting into medical school. No wonder I didn't get in. <laughs> I honestly wasn't surprised at all. You should have just told me. Why did you hide it from us? We would have supported you. Oh, come on. I know you would have been completely against it. You're only saying that now because you saw me on TV. Anyways, so what is it? The reason you decided to contact me. Money? You want money, don't you? <laughs> How dare you speak to your mother that way? How rude. <laughs> okay, so you've completely forgotten everything you said and did to me, huh? I already know what you're trying to do. The hospital isn't doing so good, right? I already know. Huh? What do you mean? I guess you're gonna play dumb this time too. <laughs> Whatever. It's not like you can hide it. <laughs> it looks like the hospital has been going through some hard times the past five years. Because of the hospital's terrible reputation, all the patients left to go to the new, larger hospital the next town over. Business isn't doing so well, so it's going to go under, isn't it? At least that's the rumor I heard. <laughs> what the heck? Are those the kind of rumors that are going around right now? How ridiculous. We are doing just fine. Going under. What a bunch of nonsense. It wasn't just you and my brother. Dad was pretty messed up too. You all were just terrible. It was just a matter of time until something like this would happen. Not really surprising at all. Don't tell me you guys didn't see this coming. You guys were some pretty toxic parents. Driving me out of the family because I was some embarrassment to you guys. And my father didn't have anything to say about it. He didn't care at all about what happened. I'm sure he didn't even notice I was gone. <laughs> all while my brother was just messing around, doing whatever he wanted without thinking about the consequences. That's enough. You better stop right now. I won't let you talk down to my family that way. Unbelievable. Well, you guys are all practically strangers to me at this point. I have nothing to do with you guys, so I can say whatever the heck I want. <laughs> I remember you always going on and on about how amazing my brother was, how you always spoiled him every chance you got. Look at him now. He's just some dropout who ended up not being able to become a doctor. <laughs> how did you get that information? I didn't even tell the neighbors. Even though he got into medical school, he always skipped class and did whatever he wanted, year after year. It's only natural that he was forced to drop out, but geez, what a waste of money. <laughs> oh, just shut up already. Things happen. No need to peg your brother down for an innocent mistake. He just made a few errors in judgment. It's not like he dropped out on purpose. No wonder why my brother ended up that way. <laughs> you spoil him way too much and let him get away with everything. Even after he wasted all of your money and failed to become a doctor, you're still making excuses for him. And now, he's a backpacker. <laughs> he must be having the time of his life. Backpacker? Your brother? Oh, wait. He didn't tell you guys. Huh. I heard from one of our childhood friends. I've been told he's been posting all about his poor man's travels on his Instagram. <laughs> Is that so? That's what your brother has been up to? I didn't know where he went after he left the house. But to think he's been backpacking all this time? You were practically smothering my brother every chance you got. But the moment he becomes a failure, you suddenly aren't interested in his whereabouts? <laughs> well, just to tell ya, it looks like he's having the time of his life as a backpacker. It suits him. I'm sure this was all for the best. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't even want to become a doctor. He looks way happier now. There's no way that's true. What a silly assumption to make. I would never be wrong about something like that. I'm absolutely positive that your brother was ready to become a doctor. I just happened to overlook some things with Paul that I should have taken care of earlier. It was a miscalculation on my part. <laughs> so everything is just one big calculation to you? If you think you can just twist and mold your own kid's life to fit your selfish little plan you made for yourself, you're dead wrong. You really don't get it, do you? You'll never get your way, no matter how hard you try. I don't really care enough to keep going. So just don't contact me anymore, okay? I'm already exhausted by this one conversation. I just end up getting irritated by literally everything you say and you really don't add any value to my life whatsoever. You drag me down just by talking to you. I'm really better off without you. <laughs> say what you want, but
but I would like it if you would come home. Let's just let go of the past. We can move on now. I'm sure it was all just miscommunication. Things like that happen with family. There's no need to hold grudges. Uh, I don't really remember there being any miscommunications. <laughs> I don't see any reason for me to return to the house. I haven't talked about this with you yet, but your father's hospital is doing really bad, business-wise. You never fail to make me laugh. I literally just told you that a minute ago. And besides, even if you don't tell me, everyone already knows that it's the big talk of the town. No one wants to go to a hospital like that. Even the patients are treated like dirt. Why don't you try to do something about that first before complaining about business? Paul was supposed to take over the hospital, but he wasn't able to graduate. Everything ended up not going according to plan. Now, we need to find a way out of this mess. You were already so successful with your business. I'm sure it wouldn't be that hard to help us out here. Lend us a hand here. Your family needs you. Um, no thanks. You guys are on your own. You didn't even take one second to think about it. How could you just say no like that? Just take your time to consider it, will you? No need to waste my time. I know my answer, <laughs> and it will never change. Just because you were wrong and the daughter you saw, the complete loser, was actually quite competent, don't think that you can just come skipping back into my life. I know you're just trying to use me. You don't actually care about me as a person. You only see my assets. That's not true. Why would you think that way? Don't you want to save your dad's hospital? Do you have no compassion? We're really struggling here. You don't care about your family. Don't just leave us drowning like this. Oh, just cut it out. I don't want to hear you talk about family. You force your pathetic beliefs down my throat all my life, treating me like I'm worthless and stupid. On top of all that, you seriously had the nerve to drive me out of the house. Now that I'm actually successful, you change your attitude all of a sudden and want to use me for your own gain? <laughs> you are seriously so messed up. It's not even funny. I could never think of you as my family. Any sane person would feel the same after experiencing all that abuse. I'm sure at this point, there isn't really anyone who would want to help people like you guys. It's really karma. You deserve this happening to you. Rebecca, you don't have to say that. Sure, you didn't become a doctor, but now that you're doing well on your own, I'll accept you as part of the family. Like I said, you can come home now. We can all be a family now. What's the problem? Why are you being so resistant? Don't you want to live with your family? There's no problem. <laughs> I just don't care. <laughs> I have no interest in you guys. That's all. You don't care? You really don't care, even a little bit? We gave birth to you. We're your parents, and we raised you for so many years. You don't want to help us out? Even a little bit? Not even a little bit. I don't care if you guys are my actual parents. It doesn't really matter. You're the one who didn't want anything to do with me, right? You told me you never wanted to see my face ever again. I just did as you wished. I made sure to erase my existence from your life. Oh, Rebecca, don't be so cold. We're really having such a hard time right now. We really need your help. I don't know what we'll do without it. Yeah, yeah. Cry and beg all you want, but it won't work. I got rid of any last feelings I had towards you guys as my family. I seriously only consider you as a stranger. Nothing more. <laughs> I also have no intention of involving myself with you from here on out. I'll make sure that this is our last conversation. <laughs> well then, the incompetent little girl who doesn't belong in your family will do you a favor and leave you alone. Wishing you and your husband all the luck with your hospital. <laughs>
I was not only doing exceptionally well in business, but I also met a wonderful partner who I married. We now live a happy life together. Even though I had to go through a lot of hardships and ended up being abandoned by my parents, it seems like the path that I chose to follow led me to a bright and happy future.